As Election Day approaches, voters have just five days to mail in or drop off their ballots. As Kelsey Marison tells us, this time is crucial as early voting numbers are down in Deschutes County. Have you voted yet this year? Voting right now. As Election Day approaches, many are casting their votes early. People always say we're out of control. We don't have any control over what's happening. It's like, actually, we do. It's a way to make your voice heard. And the vote matters more, I think, than most of us think. But this year... We are behind as far as turnout percentage. Deschutes County Clerk Steve Dennison says early voting is taking a back seat. Four years ago, on the same date, we were over 50% turnout. In, that means ballots in hand. And this year, we're right about 36%. There are nearly 166 6,000 eligible voters in Deschutes County. As of Tuesday, 63,734 ballots, or 38.45%, had been returned. But even if we just get closer to 40%, we're still under where we were um, four years ago. Oregon has been an all-vote-by-mail state for the past 20 years, meaning voters can return their ballots via mail or by dropping them off at any official drop box site across the state, like here at the Deschutes County Clerk's Office in Bend. I still anticipate robust uh, turnout, and I just hope that voters do turn out early. Dennison urges voters to cast their ballots sooner rather than later. That will ensure that at 8 o'clock on election night, when we're releasing results, that that'll represent a bigger portion of the picture. You know, the earlier ballots are cast, the earlier we can get things processed and ready for reporting at 8 o'clock on election night. To ensure your vote gets counted. Go vote. Go vote. Do okay. Voting's important. Voters have until 8 p.m. on Election Day, next Tuesday, November 5th, to get their ballots in. News Channel 21 will continue to provide Decision 2024 updates on air, on our app, and on our website, ktvz.com. Kelsey Marison, News Channel 21. Tonight we want to know, have you made a plan to vote in this November election? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the ktvz.com homepage, or you can scan the QR code there on the left-hand side of the screen. That takes you directly to our online web poll.